there's a pregnant woman that was killed by the police now this woman that was killed by the police it wasn't because they were shooting at her her thug boyfriend ended up putting her into the pathway to shield him from the gunfire of the police when they was doing a raid looking for him and his thug father let's go roll the clip it's not right it ain't right at all arlene cooper says it is hard coming to grips with what has happened to her niece alteria woods i never heard of this before i don't we don't know what to do no close woods was shot and killed by indian river county sheriff's deputies during a swat raid on this home in gifford four months pregnant oh god i was like in a shock it was like a shock to me cooper says the father of her niece's baby was 23 year old andrew coffee the fourth he and his father, the target of deputies when they carried out a raid early Sunday morning. Sheriff Darrell Lord says the youngest Coffee used his girlfriend as a shield. Andrew Coffey, the fourth, was cowardly using her as protection. But the sheriff also expressing remorse, calling Woods an innocent person caught in the crossfire as his deputies fired back at the youngest Coffee who was shooting at deputies from a bedroom window. And today we mourn the loss of Alteria Woods and our thoughts and prayers go to her family. Just say we were sisters, like, I don't know if she can't be brought back. The raid itself is in response to the recent shootings that included the death of Deputy Gary Chambliss. Tonight, dozens turned out along 45th Street and 35th Avenue in Gifford. Calling for justice and peace between the black community and law enforcement. There's no justification for what they do. And I feel like justice haven't been done in this community. And something needs to be done. And family members are demanding answers from those here at the Indian River County Sheriff's Office and tell me that they won't stop until justice is served. Less than two weeks ago, Andrew Coffey the fourth during a traffic stop told one of our deputies quote i'm going to finish what my grandfather tried to do referring to a december 18 2015 incident where andrew coffee tried to murder one of our deputies was well, the sheriff there talking about in december 2015 video here you're seeing andrew coffee the second shot a deputy who did recover a few points that the sheriff says shows the coffee family has a long history of violence toward law enforcement andrew coffee the third has been arrested more than 57 times you see him on the right side of your screen his son on the left side of the screen 23 year old andrew coffee the fourth has been arrested more than 36 times. This raid, just one in a series of raids, is part of a new initiative called Operation Safe Streets. The program has led so far to the arrest of 16 people and plenty of drugs. Those raids in direct response to the shooting of Deputy Gary Chambliss, who died last month. You'll remember he was killed February 17th after getting caught up in the crossfire of another gunfight. The gunman, believed to be responsible, has still not been caught. The sheriff saying tonight that he is determined to, quote, curb the crime and nastiness that's going on in the streets of Gifford. Now, I said in another videos and live streams as well, there are women that's within our community that like to date thugs. And I also said, don't just sit there and think that it's the hyena hood rat that's dating the thugs. There are women in our community who aren't hyenas that's dating thugs. And this is what I was trying to tell you. This story is just perfect example of that. Now, this girl is Alteria Woods, 21 years old. She is a college graduate of Indian River State College, and she had an associate's degree. She also was in track for pre-med. She was working at Publix Pharmacy. Now, she knew this guy was a thug. But she said that I will try to change him. Let me let women know something in general, not just black women. It's nothing you can do to change a man. If a man don't want to change on his own, it's nothing you can do or say to change him. We aren't your pet projects. And I know some women like to look at a man as a pet project. We're not your pet project. Stop that. Get with a man that's already ready to be in a relationship ready to do the right thing. You're not coming there to be his mama. You're not coming there to raise him or coddle him. He should be a man. And if she would have thought like that and found out he was a thug, 
then she should have walked away. Now, how many brothers was at that same college that she went to that she could have talked to? But no, she decided to get with a thug and she lost her life, not because she was committing crimes or involved in anything wrong. His whole family is nothing but thugs. The guy's grandfather is in jail because he ended up killing a police officer. The his son, which is the guy, the thug's father, was sitting up there constantly thugging and got his son thugging. Just a whole generation of thugs. And yet women in our community are getting involved with them. Is your life worth being with a thug? I know some of you think they got danger and excitement. Like if you need entertainment, go find yourself else. No guy should be entertaining you like that. And the police running in your house, bullets or, or enemies that they may have is not worth it. This guy was so much of a coward that he sat there and grabbed her and used her as a human shield. So now not only her, the unborn baby was killed as well. Um, I told y'all these thugs are cowards. They're cowards. They're not men. That's why I have no respect for them. That's why I loathe them. Some of y'all want to save them. I'm not at that point. I talk to young kids and try to get them to, to be on the right path. But when you get that old like this fool, I ain't got no sympathy for you. What would they even do to you? This is why I was telling the women, leave the thugs alone. Like I tell the men, leave the hyenas alone. Like last week, the guy was fooling with the hyena and she poured bleach down his mouth. He wasn't a thug either. Leave the hyenas and thugs alone. Black men, black women, get with each other who has the same interests, who have the same life as you. That's all I'm saying. This girl should be alive right now, working at the pharmacy. But now she's not here anymore because she decided to be with a thug, get pregnant with a thug. You thought that thug going to sit there and take care of that child she had that baby? No, because he would end up in jail somewhere because he was dealing drugs with his dumb father. It was a thug as well. It's just a cautionary tale in a news story. Leave the thugs alone or your life may be taken away from you. You have been warned. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video. Like the commentary and subscribe for more news stories.